Well, as we all know, northern Michigan nearly surrounded by water. Yeah, but water levels change all the time, uh, down significantly for the past 16 years. Yeah, but guys, things have changed dramatically the last couple of years. You know what? Le things have been really going up and down, but preferably upward, upward that is, especially the last couple of years, and faster than anyone would have expected. In this special report, we take a closer look at why the waters are rising and what it means for the future. This was the story back in the fall of 2012. Receding waters, stranded freighters, and boaters wondering where the water went. Record low water levels were recorded for the Lake Michigan Huron watershed, causing major problems for marinas, boaters, and the shipping industry. Captain Tom Kelly from Inland Seas Education Center was concerned, just like many others back in 2012. The lakes don't come up very much next year, and then we have another foot drop next winter. Then you could see there was some really serious problems. Here are some photos from Dave Chapman's place on Old Mission Peninsula during the dramatic dry stretch. The dock seemed simply out of place, and they even had to use manpower to move this jet ski off its lift. It dropped the lowest, or almost the lowest it had been ever since we've been up here. And then it started coming back up uh, last year, and it's come up real fast this last year. And it's still got about two feet to go to get up to the highest it's been. Here's what it looks like today at his spot on Lake Michigan. A remarkable improvement in a very short amount of time. All due to a two-year stretch of incredible cold and abundant snow and rain. It made all the difference. The water levels are, are great news for us, actually. They've come up rapidly. I think it's been unexpected. Nobody would have predicted the rise in water levels that we've seen, but right now we're kind of celebrating that because they're up where they should be. We like to say they're basically right about in the sweet spot. Lakes Michigan and Huron are measured as one level since they are tied together by the straits. Levels here are above the long-term average but have a long way to go before reaching new records. The incredible thing is, it's gone up more than two feet in the last two years, and it's still rising. We were at record lows for a long time, and really um, the wetlands areas are all around the Great Lakes Basin were struggling significantly. So this, this quick rise has been a great help to a lot of species. Looking north, Lake Superior was just as bad with more than a decade of low water. This was Whitefish Point in the 1930s, but now the high water is a bit too high. Uh, we've always had a, a good amount of sand and a good amount of beach to walk out to these jetties, and uh, now to see how far these are out, uh, at least as far as the water line, it's pretty amazing. While not at record highs, it's obvious the levels are causing problems. Uh, but this deck is an interesting example of what the water levels changing can do. And it was November 10th, 2013, we had just had a memorial ceremony for the Edmund Fitzgerald, and a massive storm came in out of the northwest, and uh, before we knew it, uh, our deck was undermined. The higher water levels are not a bad thing for everyone. It's something the shipping industry is welcoming with open arms. Well, the added water lets the ships load deeper, and so they can carry more cargo. The purpose of the ship is to earn revenue, and the more cargo they carry, the more revenue they earn. Now the focus is on the future. Lake Superior is forecast to go up another three to six inches this summer. It should remain below last year's high levels. Lakes Michigan and Huron are forecast to go up another four to eight inches, which is still far below the record highs set back in the 1980s, but are the highest since 1998. And so while no one can be exactly sure of what will happen, nature seems to be correcting itself. I don't get all upset about it. It's you can't do anything about it. It's just natural. 